several people are hurt, including a firefighter, after a fire ravaged three homes in Queens. Zania Maldonado is at the scene for us in Jamaica, joins us live with the latest. Zania. Doug and Elaine, the fire broke out overnight just before 3 a.m. And, and now this morning, as you can see behind me here along Liberty Ave, the fire has been put out, but a number of crews still remain on scene as they are, of course, investigating the cause of this fire. And there is extensive damage left behind. You can see people out here with their suitcases and backpacks filled with their belongings after the three houses impacted by this fire were evacuated. And now these individuals are with out of home, but the Red Cross is out here assisting. Now, I do want to show you some video from the scene overnight. It shows the huge response from more than 30 units that responded to this fire. FDNY says the call came in just before 3 a.m. for reports of a fire in a multifamily home at 16820 Liberty Avenue. It quickly spread to two other attached homes along the block. FDNY says in total, seven people suffered minor injuries. Three of those individuals were taken to the hospital including one firefighter, all treated for smoke inhalation, according to officials. Now, we did speak to a man who described some dramatic moments when he realized what was happening in the middle of the night. My survival instincts just kicked in, and I knew, like, if I didn't jump, if I didn't jump out the window, I wasn't going to run through the smoke. So it was just like, this is your only option. And I just did it and hoped for the best. And, like, the only thing, like, I just hurt my hand and, like, my foot a little bit. But, like, yeah, that was scary. Now, once again, the FTNY says in total 12 people have been displaced. And as you can see over my shoulder, Red Cross is on scene assisting those individuals. Now, the fire marshal is also on scene because the cause of this fire remains under investigation. We're live this morning from Jamaica, Queens. Zinnia Maldonado, CBS News, New York.